Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at a new Spiritomb. Because Spiritomb is awesome. Also a new Miss Magius, which is, I think, quite a bit less awesome. And a new supporter card, which looks really, really good. Like, properly good. Sweet. Let's have a gander. I should mention all translations from the lovely Antoine Boulet, as by now I'm hoping you've probably guessed. So Spiritomb here then, what we've got is 60 HP, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, 60 HP is not very much. It's very low. It does open up the use of level ball, which is obviously a good thing. But to be perfectly honest with you here, it's, it's super low. But that might not be such a bad thing. Because it's got the ability Cursed Message. When this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, search your deck for any one card and put it into your hand. And this I like very, very much indeed. This is good, quite frankly. This is really good. Because it lets you search for any card. You basically just sit it up there in the active and you're like, come on, bro. Come at me, bro. See, what, see if I care. And if they take you out, brilliant, you get to search any card. The downside here, now it doesn't need to be active, which is good, but the downside we've got here is that it needs to be knocked out by damage. So if your opponent can engineer a KO with something like Inteleon, that's going to be a bad thing, or something like Yoga Loop on a Metacham, for instance, which drops damage counters, it doesn't do damage, yeah, that will unfortunately mean that you get KO'd. But you don't get this ability. It has to be damage, not damage counters, not abilities, not burn or poison or any of that. There are ways around it. But the weird thing is, as much as I saw this initially and I was like, well, hang on a second, that could be kind of fun. You know, the ability. I'm now looking at it and I'm going, well, actually, I think it's now just a handy bonus. I think the attack might be even better. Because what the attack does for two darkness energy is 10 damage... Plus 60 more for each Spiritomb in your discard pile. Well, I mean, you can play four Spiritomb. And incidentally, it is each Spiritomb, not each card with Spiritomb in its name. So I know we don't have a Spiritomb V at the moment. I know that card doesn't exist. But if in the future we got a Spiritomb V, you would be able to play four Spiritomb V and four Spiritomb. But the Spiritomb V would not count for this damage. It would have to be Spiritomb. That's very important. So you whack three of them in your discard pile. That's 190 damage for two energy. But remember, you're talking about a Darkness Pokemon in a world where Dark Patch is getting a reprint. So that second energy is so gosh darn easy to actually pull off here. Like it's crazy ridiculously easy to the point where we shouldn't even really worry about it. You're going to be able to get that second energy pretty nicely. And now we are absolutely talking. 190 for a very easy to pay cost. And I know, I know, I know. I always tell you, right? 220. That's the magic number. That's what you need in order to go and get a KO on the vast majority of Pokemon V. But I also know Choice Belt's a thing. Yep. With a Choice Belt, this KO is pretty much any Pokemon V. So now you're talking about a Pokemon for two energy, but Dark Patch is a thing, that gets a one-hit KO on any Pokemon V, and fine, you need Choice Bout and Dark Patch, and that's not ideal, but we're talking about getting a one-hit KO on a two-prize Pokemon with a one-prize Pokemon. I cannot be the only person that thinks this looks really good. I love this. And, as if that isn't good enough, your opponent's then left with two choices. They can leave your Spiritum in the active doing 220 per turn, which is a bad idea, or they KO it, and you get to search for any one card, and I do need to stress this because this is important, going into your turn. You are going to start your turn with that card in your hand. I love this! This is phenomenal. I'm giving this five Wossies. I genuinely think this is a great, great card. I think in any Darkness deck where you're playing Dark Patch anyway, you've got to consider playing four of these. Because it's too good. You're getting a one-hit KO on Pokemon V of a single prize Pokemon, and it lets you search out any card when KO'd. I mean, come on! This is great! I love this. 
I genuinely love this. And maybe I'm overrating it because I've got a real soft spot for Spiritomb. I don't really care. I think this is awesome. Now, we're going to mention Miss Magius briefly because it kind of fits the same theme. But it's not the same, alright? What we've got here is 90 HP. So, again, level pool does work, which is quite nice. And you've got an ability that says if your HP is full and you're knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. And this is one of those ones where initially you look at it and you're like, well, hang on a second, you know, placing eight damage counters for doing nothing, that's not bad. And then you realize well, you haven't done nothing. You've given up a prize. And now you're basically swapping a prize for eight damage counters. No. No, ladies and gentlemen. No. I don't like that at all. If you've got a really good attack, such that you want to be sitting there attacking and the 8 damage counters is literally just a handy bonus, yeah. But that's the only situation in which I think this is good. Uh, along those lines, what's the attack? Single energy, place 2 damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Which isn't bad, but it's not good enough. You know, those two damage counts with HPs as they are at the moment, it's going to take a long time for that to really build up into giant KOs. And a lot of the time, what you're doing is spreading a little bit of damage, and then, you know, you get KO'd, you place eight damage counters on the active, and really, you turn around at the end, and you're like, well, the active's got a bit of damage on, but it hasn't been KO'd, and a bunch of the bench have a bunch of damage on, but they haven't been KO'd. So you still need to bring out another attacker to just finish the job anyway. I'm actually really not a fan of this. I quite like Miss Magius as it goes. But I really don't like this card at all. I'm giving it between two and three Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. It is one of those cards that my first look at it, I go, well, that could be interesting. And then I actually sit down and I think about it and I'm like, no. That's actually extremely disappointing and I don't really like it much at all. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm really not a fan. The good news is we have a new supporter card to talk about today. And I really am a fan of this. And it's one of those lovely ones that really reminds me of the Legends Arceus game. Which by now you know is, you know, something that makes me happy. What we've got is a debut of Volo. And it's a supporter card that says, choose one of your bench Pokemon V. Discard that card and all cards attached to it. It's great. Not good, not useful, great. And the reason it's great is, well, okay, there are, there are little things you can do. Like, you can save a bench space. So if you really want to play a Pokemon V, but you had to extend in the early game, and you've now not got a bench space open, you can use this to open up a bench space. There are little uses like that, which, you know, shouldn't be discounted, but they're not the reason we're playing the card. The reason we're playing the card is, prize denial, this is a spectacular, phenomenal, brilliant card for prize denial. So you've got those Pokemon you have to play in the early game. Things like Luminion and Crobat. Crobat lets you draw two, you've got six cards in your hand. And Luminion lets you search for a supporter. And they're good cards and you generally don't really want to ever play them. The reason you play them is very simply because if you don't play them, you've got nothing and you're going to lose the game. So you play them in the early game to get yourself rolling, but then you really, really, really don't want them on the field. Hey, in comes Volo, you're good to go. Something like a Wormadam deck. This is very much a pet project of mine right now. The thing about Wormadam is you don't ever want a two-prize Pokemon, because kind of the point of the deck is that you're forcing your opponent to go through six individual Pokemon in order to win the game. But you have to play a Luminion, maybe two in that deck, just in case one's prized. Just in case. Just in case you have a bad start. But you might have to use it, or you might start with it, and it's sitting out there, and now your opponent can take two prizes, and that's clearly a bad thing. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. This will get rid of it. But then we've got things like V-Stars and V-Maxes. Because let's not forget that anytime we say Pokemon V, we always include V Max and V Star. And the reason, if you're wondering, is because V Max and V Stars are kind of subcategories of Pokemon V. So there's never any question V Max and V Stars are Pokemon V. That's just a thing. 
and you can get these off the board. And this could be prize denial, you know, taking a two or three prize Pokemon off the board to slow your opponent down. But it could also be because you're about to give up a prize. Your opponent does a huge amount of damage. You need to get this off the board. So you just retreat it and use Volo. And that's why I love this, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why I love this. But this is one of the reasons why I love this. Your opponent is going to want to try and KO that to take prizes, you know, two or three prizes without doing a huge amount of extra damage, and they're not going to be able to. And that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, we all play Cheryl, at least in some decks. We all play Cheryl. And the reason we all play Cheryl is because it heals your damaged evolution Pokemon, and you got to discard the energy, and that's fine. Here, it's a similar kind of thing. And don't get me wrong, you've got to discard the Pokemon, but kind of the whole point of Volo here is you don't care about the Pokemon. This isn't an I'm healing so I can use it next turn card. This is a, oh my god, I want this off my board. What is it doing on my board? You are actively hurting my chances of winning by sitting on the bench. So you get rid of it. And I absolutely love it. I think it's great. I mean, for me, this is a slam dunk five wassy card. You know, I give Spiritomb five wassies because I love me some Spiritomb and I think it could be really fun. I give this five wassies because you're going to lose games to this. I believe we are all going to lose games because what we have here is a supporter card that is going to make you basically go, oh, yeah, now I've lost. Like, my win condition was KOing that two or three prize Pokemon on your bench. That Pokemon is now no longer on your bench. I can't win. You know, we're going to go to time and your opponent has to take their remaining three prizes in two turns in order to win the game. So use this to get rid of your only two prize Pokemon, at which point it literally becomes impossible for them to take three prizes in the remaining two turns and they lose. This is such a good card. Also, I need to mention, when I talked about Miss Magius earlier and said I didn't like it, that's true. I don't, but I do need to just quickly mention that Hayagunasuke did the artwork on the Misdreavers. And once again, in a shocking twist, it is phenomenal and I'm in love. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there's a bunch of new cards, but now I want to know what you think about them. Do you think Spiritomb's as good as I think it is? Do you think Volo is going to change the game like I think it will? Do you think Miss Magius is kind of a bit meh? Like I think it is. Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.